I am going to discuss on the topic classification of phylum nematoda. The nematodes, it's a coming uh, from the Greek word, nema mean thread and idos mean form. The nematodes, that's also called the round worms and that from the largest Aschihelminth phylum. And according to Barnes sixth edition, there are 12,000 described species, but uh, there are probably many more undescribed than described species and include some of the most widespread and numerous of all multicellular animals. And what are the uh, key characteristic features of the nematoda? They have a paired lateral sensory organs that are the amphids that are located on the head region and that's derived from cilia and that's open to the outside through a small pore. And what are the general features of the nematoda? They are pseudocilomate. What is coelom? Coelom is an internal fluid filled body cavity that lying between the gut and outer body wall musculature and lined with tissue dried from embryonic mesonum. And the animals that possess such a body cavity that are known as coelomates or the use helomet. But uh, in case of a nematode, they are pseudocilomet. That's when the body cavity is the pseudocil and the name is a little bit misleading. The pseudo that is not intent to disparage of the cell. That's when they have no mesodermal lining and the body is bilateral symmetrical and uh, they body cavity that's a covered with a thick multilayered cuticle of the collagen that is secreted by the underlying epidermis. You see here that is a cuticular lining and in case of the nematoda no distinct head and appendages. Presence of the gut but they have no proboscis. They have large linear digestive system with a mouth that is the stoma that's a located in the anterior end and that leading in the sequence through buccal cavity, then uh, muscular pharynx, then intestine, and then rectum. And here the anus is a subterminal in the position. And they have a nervous system and the nervous system uh, have a pharyngeal uh, nerve ring. You see here that is a nerve ring and no circulatory system that have no uh, blood system. They have no nephridia. The metabolic uh, waste uh, products are apparently discharged along with other materials leaving the gut or they diffuse across the body wall. A glandular uh, system that is, uh, you see here, uh, that's a ventral cell or the uh, renate that is often referred to as excretory system, but its actual function has never been convincingly documented. The chemosensory organs in uh, nematoda, uh, amphids, and also similar structure spaces that are the fascinates. The amphids that is, uh, are located in the anteriorly, and that's uh, lined with highly modified non-motile cilia and in some cases, the phasmids are also located at the posterior ends of some nematodes and they are thought to be chemosensory in nature. And amphids are best developed in free living aquatic and especially marine nematodes. They are pouch or tube-like imaginations of the cuticle. They open to the exterior and containing ciliated receptor cells, the amphids are paired with uh, one on each sides of the head and a mechanoreceptor and chemoreceptor in nature. In the tail region, some of the nematodes, especially in the class Cesarensia, is a pair of enigmatic unicellular glands that are known as phasmids, maybe chemosensory, secretory, or excretory in nature. And they are best developed in parasitic nematodes. In nematodes, the sexes are separate, that is a gonochoristic. And some nematodes, they possess 
Varsha, that is a, a Varsha. This is a scanning electron microphotograph uh, captured from the Google image. That is an umbrella-like structure that's a fear formed of cuticular flanges and supported by radiating muscular barsal rays and that arrange like the ribs of the umbrella. The barsa uh, clasps the females uh, during mating. And the present classification scheme is based on the book Invertebrate Zoology, edited by Edward D. Rupert and Robert D. Barnes. Uh, sixth edition, the phylum Nematoda is divided into two classes, uh, class Adenophoria, say adeno mean uh, gland bearing, and the class Cesarensia. The Adenophoria, that's haplophasmids, whereas the Cesarensia, they have phasmids. So they are also known as phasmida. And the Nematoda have also 14 orders. Now, the class Adenophoria, uh, they contains the nematodes that have uh, various aphids, amphids behind the leaves. And most species are free living, and some are also parasitic in their nature. The free living species include uh, some are the parasitics uh, and some are the terrestrial uh, and, and freshwater forms, and almost all of the marine forms. And uh, in this case, they have no uh, phasmids. The epidermal cells are the uh, uninucleate, the possesses uh, caudal uh, glands. That's for attaching to the substrates and epidermal glands. And they have excretory glands. These are the excretory glands. And no excretory canals uh, in case of the adenophoria. The testes are the paired. The example are the trichurus, trichinella, and the marmish. Now, another class. Cesarensia, that is a phasmida, that contains the nematodes that usually possess pole like amphids in the lateral leaves. And many parasitic forms are the members of this class, and the free living species largely inhabit in the soil. And here the amphids, uh, that's the pole like already mentioned, and phasmid peasants, the phasmida, that's located in the posteriorly located pair of the glandular structure that considered as chemodeceptors and epidermal cells are the uninucleated or the multinucleated. Whereas in case of the class uh, adenophoria, the epidermal glands uh, cells are always uninucleated. In Cesarensia, the epidermal or caudal glands are absent. Here you see the excretory glands and the excretory uh, canals, both are present, and that forms an uh, age like structure. The excretory systems uh, with the lateral canals and terminal canals that's aligned with the cuticle. Only anterior testes are present. The examples are the Ucheridia, Brankofti, Ascaris, Loa Loa, that is the Iwam, and uh, that is a example of Entrevias. This is a draconculus, and this is a ankylostoma. These are the reference books in vertebrate geology, Edward E. Rupert and Robert D. Barnes, uh, sixth edition. Biology of the invertebrates, uh, fourth edition, John A. Pecheni. And invertebrate uh, geology, third edition, Paul A. McLeish and F. R. Sarum. Thank you.